आई एस टी वी प्रेजेंट्स इन एसोसिएशन विद धनमंजूरी कम्युनिटी कॉलेज दी एम यूनिवर्सिटी इम्फा लॉन्सिंग सीरीज ऑफ एजुकेशनल प्रोग्राम रिकॉर्डेड ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फॉर अंडर ग्रेजुएट एंड पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट्स बाय टीचर्स फ्रॉम वेरियस कॉलेज एंड यूनिवर्सिटीज ड्यूरिंग दिस कोविड नाइन्टीन लॉकडाउन एवरी डे ऑन आई एस टी वी नॉन इन एट पी एम From 24th May 2020 onwards, what's for that? Only on IHTV Nongin. Good morning, dear students. Today, let us discuss the shortest route problems. This is also a part of the network. analysis the extra shortest part the extra shortest part algorithm is the most commonly used shortest part algorithm one can find the shortest parts from a given source to all nodes in a network at the same time this problem is sometimes also called the single source shortest part problem the extra algorithm is a labeling algorithm it finds the shortest route from the starting node to any other node in the network at each iteration a new node is assigned a final level this level gives the shortest distance from the start node to this node also the working levels of all the nodes are improved at this stage so in the shortest route problem we can find the shortest distance for every node from the starting nodes now we shall use the following notation to represent a level assigned to a node i is ui comma j where ui is the shortest distance of node i from the starting node and j the immediately preceding node the length of the link ij will be ui minus uj algorithm step 1 label the initial node h0 comma minus h it represent the origin so tick this node to indicate that this node has been solved step 2 update the working levels of all the untick nodes that can be reached directly from the last tick node step 3 choose the untick node with the smallest working level that is having smallest ui tick this node to indicate that this node has been solved step 4 repeat step 2 and 3 until the destination node is ticked the shortest route can now be found by tracking back so now let us discuss this algorithm with an example consider the following network and we have to determine the shortest route from the station 1 to station 8 so here there are eight nodes labeling 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 and all the nodes are linked by the roots so let us find the shortest route from station 1 to station 8 not 1 not 2 not 3 not 4 Not five, not six, not seven, not eight. So, not one and two. This is three. One to three. Six. Two to three. Two. One to four, five. Three four, three. Three five, four. Four five, four. Four seven, seven. Two six, I. Two five. Three, 
pipe 6, pull. Pipe 8, seven. Pipe 7, 2. Seven eight three six eight three. So these are the potential links. So at first level node one is zero comma minus. Zero is the starting node. Minus sign indicate that there is no node before node 1. So now let us see, first let us take this node 1, then let us see the untick nodes directly connected to the node 1. So node 2, node 3, node 4, these are directly connected to the node 1. So now let us label the working level not for node 2, node 3, node 4. So node 3, the distance is 3, this is ui, then this is node 1. 3 indicate this 3, 1 indicate this node. So this is ui, comma j. Next, node 3. Distance is 6, node is 1. Next, distance is 5, node is 1. So this is ui, comma j. So now the working level of the node 2, node 3, node 4. Then select the node having smallest ui. So 3, 5, 6. So this is the smallest. So let us take node 2. Then next let us see the untick node that directly connected to the node 2. So node 5 and the 6 is connected to node 2. So and then 3 also. So there are 3 points, 3 nodes that directly connected to node 2. So now let us find out the working level of these 3 nodes. So first we find this working level. So this is 3, this is 8. So this is 11, 11, then node 2, you write here. Next, node 5. So 3, 3, 6. We have to write 6 here, then node 2. Then for node 3, this 3, this 2, 5. So cancel this, then we have to update 5, comma. Two. So this is the working level of the nodes. Then we have to select the node having smallest UI. So 5, 6, 11. So 5 is the smallest. So let us take node 3. After this, next let us see the antique nodes connected to this node 3. So 5, then 4. Only these two not. And this is already tick. So let us update the working level of this not. So here is 5, here is 3, 8. So already we got 5. 5 is less than 8. So we will not take the update this previous not, previous working level is better than this. So it will be remain is same. Next, let us see. Four, 5, 4, 9. So 9 is greater than this. So it will be remain. So this is the working level. Then we have to select the smallest one. So 5 is less than 6. So we have to select this node and let us trick not 4. Then let us see the untick nodes that directly connected to node 4. So here's node 7, node 5 is directly connected to node 4. So let us find the working level for this 5, 7, 12. 
then we have to write this for here then for this here is 5 here is 4 9 9 is greater than 6 so it will remain unchanged then we have to select smaller so 6 is less than 12 so let us take this not then next we have to check the untick knots that directly connected to knot 5 so here there are three knots that connected to this knot 5 so now let us update the working levels so here is 6 this is 2 8 so it is less than this so let us update this 8 comma 5 then for this 6 7 13 13 comma 5 then for not 6 here is 6 is 4 10 10 is less than this so it is better to change 10 comma 5 so this is the updated working level so then we have to select the smallest working level so this is smallest so let us take not seven the next knots directly connected to node seven is eight so let us update this working level so it is eight three eleven so let us update eleven seven then after this there are two untick knots we have to select the smallest working level so 10 is less than this so let us tick let us select node 6 and tick then finally let us select node 8 so then after this we have to find the shortest part so it can be done by backtracking the shortest route can be obtained by back tracking so let us start from here Not eight. The working level is this, so we have to go to seven, not seven. So not seven is here. Then not seven, the working level is eight five. So we have to go this not five. Then we have to go to not two, not two, then not one, seven, then five, seven, then five, then two, then one. So, therefore the shortest part therefore the shortest part is not one to not two then not five then not seven then not i Uh, therefore, length of the shortest part equal to 1 to 2, 3, 2 to 5, 
3. Pipe to seven. Pipe to seven two. Seven to eight three. So this is nine. Or six. Eight eleven. So this is the length of the shortest part. So in this method, we can find out the shortest part for every node, say node 7 from node 1. The distance is 8. Then node 6, shortest distance of the node 6 from node 1, this is also 10. Shortest distance of the node 5 from node 1, 6. So at one time, we can see the shortest distance of all the nodes from the node 1 at one time. So this is the advantage of the Dijkstra's method. So we can find out shortest part of any node from the given source by using this algorithm. So this is the problem for shortest part method. I will give you one assignment. The network below gives the permissible routes. Determine the shortest route from CT1 to CT7. Now we have to go from CT1 to CT7. Then you find out the shortest route. For going from, so from CT1 to CT7, if we can find the shortest path, then it can save time, it can save money. So this is the advantage of the shortest route method. Thank you. ISTV presents in association with Dhanamanjuri Community College, DM University, Impha, launching a series of educational programs recorded online classes for undergraduate and postgraduate students by teachers from various colleges and universities. During this COVID-19 lockdown, every day on ISTV Nongin, 8 p.m., from 24th May 2020 onwards, what's for that? Only on IHTV Nongin.